Over the past four weeks, I have been meeting with our major constituency groups on and off campus, including faculty, students, alumni, and other supporters. Just this morning, I met with faculty and staff from the School of Education, the last in my scheduled meetings with our 10 schools in the College of Arts and Sciences. These have been very healthy meetings that have allowed me the opportunity to listen and hear firsthand from our constituents. I believe they are very constructive, and I know that they will help improve communication. And I'm committed to these meetings, continuing on a regular basis moving forward, and not just myself, but our senior leadership team, myself and Provost Linda Lucas and others, who can help make sure that our faculty and staff and students across campus are up to date on the great activities and initiatives going on here at UAB. As a result of these meetings, we just this week announced the formation of four task forces that will address issues related to faculty, students, employees, and our athletics department. These groups will study ways to improve shared governance, our benefit structure, student engagement and affairs, and the strategic direction of athletics, among other things. These are issues that have been raised during our meetings. And my intent through these task forces is to engage stakeholders in addressing our priorities as part of our strategic direction. This week, we also launched UAB Forward, a public website that will provide updates on the many activities going on at UAB and how we are moving forward. Like the task forces, UAB Forward is a result of the feedback and discussions that we've had. And we want to make sure that we are addressing the important issues facing us as a university going forward. And they're involving our campus and off-campus stakeholders in a very active and constructive way. In recent weeks, we've also had excellent dialogue with our supporters off-campus as well including key elected officials, alumni leaders, and donors to the university. A common theme we have heard is a desire to have an independent financial firm reevaluate the numbers that serve as the basis for our decisions about the athletics department and their strategic plan. As a physician, I am used to recommending and used to providing second opinions even when we clearly believe we know the right path forward. Also as a physician, I know talking with and listening to patients is critical to arriving at the right diagnosis and determining the best plan of action. So I have listened and I agree that an independent financial review is needed <coughs> to verify the credibility of the numbers that we have used and we're going to do this. To that end, today, we're announcing the formation of a committee that's representative of our key constituents to select a firm to review our initial report. This new committee will be led by National Alumni Society President Wes Smith. We're very appreciative of him being willing to take a leadership role here as in other situations. Other com committee members are Shannon E., our interim athletic director, Chad Elks, who is president of the faculty senate, Mr. Don Heyer, who's one of our athletic <coughs> supporters and champion club members, Harold Jones, who is dean of our school of health professions and who has been very active in athletic related activities here for many years. Also Steve Mitchell who is a former UAB athlete and Angeli Wagley who is the president of our undergraduate student body. We believe that this group represents our constituents well 
and we believe they will do a fine job in selecting an independent evaluation team. Once the firm is selected, we will ask the report be completed and back to us within 90 days. Finally, while this report is being developed, we will continue to have dialogue with all of our stakeholders around this important matter and around other important matters as we develop further and implement our strategic plan across the university. I'm sure a question is, will you reinstate football? The answer is simply that we agree with our alumni leaders and others that an independent review of these data that led to the athletic department decisions is definitely needed. Only then can we have the ability to have a credible and constructive dialogue about moving forward. It's important to note, regardless of the decision, due to scheduling and other logistics, we will not field a football team in 2015. 